Hi, my name is Akiva Coleman. I'm the director and founder of Coleman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law, and today we're going to talk a little bit about guardianship. The concept of guardianship basically is that a person can become the guardian of another person if there's some compelling, you know, temporary need. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. Let's say, God forbid, there is a um, fatal car accident and a minor child is left without parents. A grandparent may file a petition with the court to become the child's guardian, take care of the child's schooling, medical needs, and all that, and to do that, they need some authority so they get letters of guardianship. That's the kind of guardianship that <clears throat> will see the child all the way through until he or she is an adult. Once they become uh, age of majority, <clears throat> you know, and, unless, and assuming they're healthy and otherwise, they're an adult now, the guardianship uh, won't be continued. Um, sometimes there is a particular need for the guardianship, but it doesn't have to go until the child is 18. For example, sometimes let's say grandparents are guardianship because um, mom is uh, deployed and the armed forces is not available to take care of the child. So the grandparents become guardians, but mom comes back, the deployment is over, the guardianship can be terminated. So that's a question of the issue that caused the need, that issue is resolved and therefore the guardianship ends and it could end, you know, in a year or two long before the child becomes the age of majority. The guardianship typically will not continue beyond 18 unless the reason for the guardianship is that we have, you know, a developmental impairment and the person, even though they may be an adult, isn't able to take care of themselves. Then the court can hear reasons why the guardianship might be continued. Um, you should be aware that a lot of guardianship is not related to 18 at all. A lot of it's related to disability. And you can have fully, you know, grown adults subject to a guardianship because they have a disability, they're, uh, uh, you know, alcohol or drug dependent, and these kind of things. If you have any questions about your particular situation, of course, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.